All right, today we're gonna to be doing a little testing on the relationship between headway and AGM. If you can use them together, just straight parallel. Do you need an isolator? How they perform with and without each other, etc., etc. Uh, first test that we have here is the float draw. This is what happens when you connect headway without an isolator. We have uh, about an amp and a quarter draw up to the front, floating the AGM up to the resting voltage of the lithium. This vehicle has been sitting for a little over three days, probably close to 80 hours, floating the AGM at an amp and a quarter. So let's see what our voltage is. 13.24 volts, 13.25 volts, pulling 1.23 amps for 80 hours, 48 amp hour headway bank, feeding a 100 amp hour AGM, and we're 13.24 volts. It's just sitting happily at rest voltage. Now our next step here is gonna to be to put this DC clamp on the alternator side up there and see what it's pulling on recharge, as well as monitoring the voltage of the bank in the back as it's coming up on charge. Okay, we now have the DC clamp hooked up on the alternator lead. We're gonna start the vehicle and see what happens, see how much recharge it takes. One decent amount. We're seeing about 80 amps steady. 1427, 1428, it's coming up relatively quick. nothing ever happened it's like charging up a regular battery on startup this was sitting for 80 hours mind you 80 hours with this 48 amp hour of headway floating this big old 100 amp hour AGM coming up to the alternator voltage where the alternator sits at is about 14.5 so that was extremely quick that was under a minute charged from 13.24 to right up to top charge and we're down under 38 that was a pretty quick process I wish I had a temperature reading for you on the alternator but my little gun is out of batteries randomly as I start filming so that's real good but that was an extremely quick process and it didn't really drain the headway floating the lead battery. Over almost four days worth of sitting, it just sat happily at rest voltage the whole time. All right, so I'm gonna do two tests here. Uh, one test with AGM in the system, which I'm gonna do first, and one test with lithium only. Um, we're going to run a 30 hertz test tone pretty hard, hoping for maybe somewhere in the 200 amp range. And we're gonna play that for 10 seconds. And then we're gonna play a bass song for, for, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute. And then we're going to unhook the AGM and see how it does on the same two tests and hopefully show a difference in recharge speed, amperage handling, etc. Everything's warm, headway's about 75 degrees, so it should perform very well. Test one, test tone, headway, and AGM. Oh, it's definitely a fair bit of time to uh, recharge back up the headway. There's a few amperage spikes because the tire amps fans are running. Thirty hertz test tone headway alone, same power level. A little 
you'll see a difference. Yeah, it comes back up over 14 pretty quick, but not, not too much different than from the AGM. It's relatively the same. And it's right up to where it's charging when it's hot, so that's not too much different. Well, headway musical test on about rated power, maybe 1250 watts, hoping it's near 100 amps. Musical test, headway alone. So as you can see from the videos there, there is really not a huge difference between having the AGM in the system and not in the system. At least on that power level, 100 amps musically, 160 amps on a burp. But there is not a really a huge difference between them. I have mine hooked up just for the reserve capacity. I'm gonna keep it hooked up just for the reserve capacity. But I don't really see a performance difference, at least at that power level. I like to do it on 300 amps and see what the difference is then. But at least on everyday setups, lower power levels, there's absolutely no difference hooking the AGM up and leaving it hooked up. All right, well, that's that, guys. Lead to LIFE works flawlessly. No isolator needed. You can easily just parallel in a LIFE bank right with the lead battery and add the performance of lithium for very minimal effort. It does float the lead battery over a period of time but it maintains a decent rest voltage and lithium doesn't care about the cycling the lead's always happy because it's floated it's flawless the performance difference of leaving the lead battery is minimal if any at all uh, it's as simple as can be headway bank specifically very cheap to build they're easy to install uh, it's it's never been easier to get lithium in your setup so go for it guys buy some lithium parallel it right in get some big lithium power for very minimal effort thanks for watching